Hey guys, welcome back to Ropes and Design. Today I'm with my daughter, Shara. Hello. We are in her studio apartment. We showed this to you over a year ago, and today we're excited because we're actually to take it a step further and kind of get into the details. This is kind of the great room. Not only just the fashionable part, but the functional way on how to maximize your space while maximizing your budget. We can do it on a dime. We sure can. It's tough, but we're going to show you how we did it. That's right. You ready to see it? Let's get started. So let's start with the top 10 things that you would do in any apartment. Number one, furniture layout. My sense of style always finds peace with symmetry. So although this is a small space, you'll notice that on each wall there is an aspect of symmetry. Number two. Once you've identified your focal point wall, why don't you try painting it a contrasting color, just like we did here in Shara's place. One of the least expensive things you can do, and it can make such a huge design element and impact in your room. You want to free up your surfaces as much as you can. For me, I have a lot of cords. If you can see over here, I have my router, I have different cords, I have different remotes, it just, the list goes on and on. As Shara goes through and shows you some of these cool, creative, and inexpensive ideas on how to maximize your budget and your space, we have DIY videos that connect to a lot of them, so be sure to watch to the end of the video, and we'll put links in there so you can watch those as well. It's on her channel, How to Live Your Style. Okay, moving on to number four. Can anybody guess? Take it away, Mama. What is number four? <laughs> So another really smart way to save money in your space is to make your own furniture. And what better place to start with something flat, like a headboard? It's really not that hard, I promise. Yeah, it's really simple. It's pallet wood, we stained it, this neat gray color, it's very urban. Yeah, what's number five? All right. Is it the bedding? Because mm -hmm. I love the bedding. I know, me too. So we didn't DIY that, unfortunately. Okay. Number five is these lovely frames above me. They are usually very expensive. Mm hmm because she tried to get me to buy them and I said no. Yeah, so I just learned how to DIY them myself. They're really expensive gallery frames that I gold leafed, and I think it adds the perfect gold touch. And if you know anything about me on my channel, I'm just like a little bit obsessed with gold. I'm really proud of you. Which I think is probably because you put me in those gold lame shoes when I was one. Exactly, well, your entire life until you were 10. We don't talk about that. <laughs> Now, this wall is and is not symmetrical. It's kind of a mere suggestion of symmetry. You got the bed, you have lights on either side, different lights, but there are lights, different nightstands, but there are nightstands too. But you have the two pictures, that helps. And here's the other thing that's really cool. And you've seen me do this before. Got a window over here, no window over there. Ugh, architects. So, I put in a mirror that sort of mimics the shape and size of that window. All right, on to number six. Over here. I think I'll stay here while you do number six. I'm really comfortable. So one of the biggest questions you guys had for us on the last apartment video we did on her channel was where on earth does Shara store her clothes and her accessories and her shoes? When you're getting your organizational containers, they can all be exactly the same, or you can mix it up. And if you're gonna do that, make sure you pick a theme, like we did here. We went kind of urban, yeah. so everything's kind of wire or very rustic looking. We thought that would allow me to go and buy random bins at one-off stores, not having to buy a ton of the same exact style. That keeps your cost down. It does. I like to organize the things I use every single day on top, which are my delicates which obviously I wear every day, so I keep them there. And then my bathing suits. You want to keep things that are seasonal. Right now I'm in summer, and I use those all the time. So on the other side of the sofa, I've got more bins and more decor. You'll notice on both sides of the bookcase, the bottom three shelves are all functional. In the event that you take down like the towel bar, or you replace the faucet or something, you need to keep all of those items and you don't want to lose them because when you move out, you got to put them back. So I try to keep all of the different little pieces and parts to like I've got some handles in here, some of the hardware for some of the towel bars that they used to have in that bathroom. And I keep them all in this really cute decorative box. That way I save money and don't have to go out and repurchase them when I need to move out. 
I don't have any drawers. I don't have really any dressers, so I have to find ways to make it look decorative and make it look functional and maximize my space. Now where I keep the majority of my hanging clothes, ta-da! I have right here, all by color, from black fading into color on the other side with pinks and purples and blues. Below this, I try to organize my shoes as best as possible. I even have little hooks on the inside of these guys here to hang different jewelry. And above here, even more storage. On either side of this lovely closet that I have, I have these shelves with different types of bins on either side. They're all the same bin, but they're a little bit different style. We wanted to buy kind of a mass amount of them because if these ones were all different, I think it would look way too jumbled. So in this bathroom, which leads me to number seven. The first DIY that I did was over here with these baskets. Inexpensive baskets, you turn on their side and you stick them right on the wall. Perfect towel storage. I made this really cool DIY on the basically branches and I can actually store all of my necklaces right there on the wall. I have a bunch of products in here so I really wanted to maximize my space by making these cute little DIY cupboards and putting mirrors on the front and I could really utilize this for great function and at a great cost by making them myself. Number eight is one of my favorites. This is the godsend. I don't know about you guys but in the morning when I'm getting ready I hate when I'm trying to put on my makeup and do my hair and I'm trying to fit it all on this little countertop here. I burn my hands on my curling iron or something, it's not fun. So this little contraption that I DIY keeps those off of my countertop and keeps them away from burning me. Now that we're done with the bathroom, it's time to show you a few tricks and tips in the kitchen. Take it away, mom. Number nine, if you have a small kitchen that's kind of awkward, you might want to consider doing what we did here for Shara. I actually bought her this little cart. This is a rolling cart, so we can use it in any room we want to, but here's what it did. Fashionably, it added a focal point to the kitchen. When you walk in, that's exactly what you see with this great oval clock, but this cart added a lot of extra storage, and it was very, very affordable. Number 10. This is an idea that I've done a lot of times. It's very simple, and it's free. Take the cabinet doors off of your existing cabinets. What this will do, it almost creates almost like a china cabinet effect. There's things you can do. Now, you could, we could have painted the back wall or put wallpaper or some kind of a texture back here. If we had done that, I think it would look great with white dishes. However, we decided to keep the whole thing white, even on the inside, and use colored dishes. It's kind of a fun little decorating idea, and it's free. That was pretty fun. I'm, I'm shocked at how much we were able to get into this place. I know, seriously. I think it's super helpful for people. I have a question. What? Do you keep it this clean all the time? Of course. <laughs> right. You know what we should do is a surprise visit sometime. Eh, that's not, that's not a good idea. No. Well, we'd love to know what you guys think. Was this a helpful video for you to know, kind of get some ideas of what you can do in your own place? Yeah, I mean, every apartment takes a lot of work, especially if it's your first apartment, but if you're committed to just really trying to work hard and DIY a lot of the different things, you can really keep the cost down. Speaking of... What? The DIY videos. So there's a ton of things that Shara showed you that you can find out on her channel called How to Live Your Style. We We're will gonna, link them actually yeah. all around. All around. Us. All They'll around. be everywhere. And this guys... a, our editor is going to kill us for doing this, but yeah, just click on them and, and they'll get you there. And, go ahead. I mean, no, you. I was going to say, if you guys haven't subscribed to this channel, click the button right there and subscribe. For our sure. Awesome. Thanks for watching, you guys. Yeah. See you guys next time. Bye. Subscribe.